We're going to install it and get right to it. Throttle body spacer on the 4.6 Mercury Grand Marquis engine. I will give you a step by step of how to do such installation. Now this comes with everything you need. So it has all the hardware. Now it has two gaskets. It's got instructions and it comes with the throttle body spacer itself. So just a piece of aluminum or whatever it is. We're going to install it and get right to it. Now what you want to do is first take off the negative battery terminal just so we don't have any issues electrically. This is a size 8 ratchet and socket. Now we'll get right into it. First thing is going to take off the cover, and this is just a uh, quarter inch uh, extension for the ratchet. Have it now. What we're gonna do is take off this intake tube so we have better access to the four bolts that are holding the throttle body. Size 8 ratchet and socket. Or a flathead screwdriver. Unhook this vacuum hose. So this is off. Now we're going to do it right here. Pop it off, put it to the side. Now we have access to the throttle body. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this. We just pop this out. Just pop out this red clip. So like this, and then also right here. Just gonna pop that out and use a screwdriver. Next, there's four bolts. One, two, three, and four. And that'll get the throttle body off. Size eight ratchet, or size eight socket. And ratchet. So here we have it. This is what the throttle body looks like on the inside. It's kind of 
dirty. Even on the inside. Like all that duck. That's a good time to clean it out and do a little bit of a maintenance. We might as well go ahead and clean the inside. So we didn't take that full. Oh, you look at that gunk. And I have the throttle body here. As you can see, there's still all this gunk. We're gonna quickly just clean it up before installing everything back in. Now I'm just gonna use some brake parts cleaner because I don't have the carb cleaner. And just simply gonna use a toothbrush. They say, clean as a whistle. Okay, now this, I'm thinking, I had some tips on my other video to cut this out to give it more airflow. And this goes on right here. And then that installs like this. This to me looks kind of restrictive. And I think it would defeat. The whole purpose of having this on here like that. So putting this in putting that on but then we have that to restrict it leave in your comments below if you have any issues or if you've done this already I'm not sure the science behind it and all that but I think I'm gonna keep this but what I will do use a tool to simply cut this out and install it back in but this is how it's gonna look something along those lines now I'm just gonna use this uh, tool and just cut these out So after using file, I filed down 
all the stuff, all the edges. And uh, we're pretty much now, this is what it's gonna look like. Boom. So it doesn't come over nice and free. Now, I guess we'll go back to installation. So we got gasket, throttle body, spacer. Now, to get back to this stock, which would not be long enough. Which would not be long enough by a long shot. So, the throttle body kit comes with longer bolts. Uh, but as I've seen on the videos, people having issues. Even with the ones that came with the kit not being long enough. So I just went out and I bought at Lowe's even a longer one. I'll link all this stuff in the description but you can see the difference in all the bolts stock came with the kit this i went out and bought so we'll try both of these out okay so that's nearly not as long as i think it should be as you can see that's the one that came with the kit and here's the one i bought So this will definitely work better. Let's start installing. Now these bolts are uh, 10, 10 millimeter. Now, it comes with these brackets if you have a wire operated throttle body but this is an electronic one so i don't have to worry about all these brackets and extra um, bolts and things like that so i'm going to save this and maybe just send it out to someone whoever needs it or just uh, keep it for now and here's what it looks like after the installation. So, as you can see, the bolts come right out. Here's a spacer, there's that plastic piece, and then the bolts. So the throttle body is clean, the inside is clean. Now for the installation of the intake tube and then we'll go for a test drive. Now make sure to put this back, all these uh, connectors back on and also 
show you, but this one back. Same thing. Pop it on. Put that in. On. To get it back on. But it's got these folds. So it's not a problem. That snapped in. This is on. Now we use our eight millimeter socket and ratchet. on and we are ready make sure you get this make sure you get this vacuum line back on one time I forgot to put it on the next day of driving and uh, check engine light went off realized I forgot to put this on That's on. Okay, I think we are done with that. I'm not gonna put the cover back on. We'll go for a spin on our uh, homemade drag strip right here. So, before we shut the hood and go for the test drive, I want to be able to reset the throttle position sensor. I'm not sure if you have to do it or not. I'm looking at a video that says you have to, to just uh, reset everything, the PCM and uh, throttle position sensor. So I did have my battery disconnected the whole time. Now, what I'm gonna do is get a cable. I'm just gonna get a jumper cable and I'm gonna connect these two terminals away from the battery. So it's not, as you can see, it's not touching the negative, but to discharge, to just simply make sure everything drains out of all the capacitors and everything. So you just keep it on there. Okay, it's been a few minutes. We're just gonna disconnect all of the cables. Now we're gonna just connect back the negative terminal. So tighten it. Next is we're gonna go and uh, turn the key on so it can reset and relearn the idle of the mercury. Make sure to turn off wiper blades, turn off lights, turn off the heater, Turn off anything that will drain power, all the accessories, and, uh, and we're gonna start this procedure. Now this, I got a little tip or trick on how to just keep an eye on what's going on while you're filming from uh, Panzer Platform on YouTube or YouTube channel, Chuck. If you're out there watching, listening, thank you for the tip. I see you with your tablet. Very helpful, so you know what you're doing and what the viewers are seeing. What we're gonna do is put the key. We're gonna turn it so the ignition is on, but not start the car. We're gonna give it a minute. And just start the car and let it idle. That was a rough start with the brake fluid still in the manifold with the throttle body spacer. So now we're gonna just wait for a normal operating uh, temperature.
yeah we're done thank you for watching please comment like subscribe if you have helpful tips for me for other uh panther platform enthusiasts and mercury crown victoria or talent car lovers make sure to comment in the comment section that way we could all grow get tips and enjoy what we do and enjoy what we drive thanks Here's what we're gonna do. Traction control off. Drive. Now we're just gonna gun it. <laughs>